Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to Geek Squared. Today we're doing a quick unboxing of the Spark Diagnostics AI Car Help Monitor. Now, since discovering this device about a year ago on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, um, it sparked my interest, you know. Now, I'm not a gearhead by any means, but I do consider myself, you know, somewhat knowledgeable about cars and, and whatnot, but short of using a traditional DTC code reader, there wasn't an intuitive way to understand the inner workings of your car, what's going on with your car. So Spark Diagnostics hopes to change this and again build as an AI car health monitor. It offers the following features. Remote diagnostics, an AI powered scoring system, monitor your vehicle health conditions, also, of course, diagnose trouble codes or DTCs. And then, of course, receiving um, car notifications or app notifications about irregular things happening with your car. Now, we're going to get this set up in an actual car soon, but at a high level, here's how this works. So, since it's an ODB2 device, com it's compatible with most major car brands built after. 1996. You plug it into the ODB2 port and uh, this is what feeds you know the data about your car similar to if you were to go to an auto zone uh, when your check engine come you know check engine light comes on. From there you pair the device uh, with their app which is currently only available on iOS although I expect Android comp um, compatibility coming soon. Um, and that's how you're able to receive the alerts, you know, monitor the conditions of the car uh, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this spark connected to a car and check out the app and get it all set up. So we are outside. We found our test subject. So let's go ahead and get this spark diagnostics device installed. All right. So in most cars, probably all cars, actually, um, the ODB2 connection is going to be on the driver side under the dash. And so let's go ahead and plug in one of these. And it's probably very dark, but it's okay. We're just going to go ahead and plug it in. You can kind of see this is the, um, you know, interface of the Spark Diagnostics tool. And uh, you probably can't see it, but there's my ODB2 port. So we'll go ahead and plug this in see that nice and secure if you've ever had car insurance where they track you uh, it's a similar device to that similar size and so now let's go ahead and uh, get the car fired up and uh, get the app in, uh, configured we got the car fired up now and perfectly I've got a fault uh, tire pressure sensor fault so we'll see if the spark device detects it but let's go ahead and get the app installed now. Guess it would have been wise to do that before shooting, but you know, let's go ahead and do it in real time. So this is what the app's gonna look like. Spark Diagnostics. Looks if this will focus. Three stars. But let's go ahead and get it installed here. Let me turn down my brightness. That might help with the focus. Oh yeah, much better. Go ahead and open this up. 
Yes, I'm trying to hide myself from the reflections. Demystifying automotive care. Let's get started. Go ahead and pot, put in my email here. And we need a code. How convenient. Let's get that going here. Who should we call you? You can call me Cameron. All right, welcome aboard. To proceed, please ensure the following steps are followed. Keep your Bluetooth connection active, be within six feet, maintain internet connectivity, ensure the car engine is on throughout the process. Get started. Allow. Okay, I've already connected my device, so it's searching. Looks like it found it there. Connect device. And yes, this is a Ford Explorer. That's good. And black. Uh, trim, we'll go ahead and modify. It's going to be the platinum trim. There we go. And that looks pretty good to me. Hit done. And I even pulled up the press image of the car, which is a nice touch as well. And we'll go ahead and slide to add. Welcome to Spark, and here we go. Good afternoon. So browsing through the app here, it looks like um, at the very top we've got a perform health check, and this must be your AI powered health score, 95 out of 100, that's cool. Moving right along, um, looks obviously a picture of the car, checked hours ago in a, because we've not done a check, let's go through all the tabs here. This is the vehicle status in depth menu, not showing fuel, um, but we're getting greens on everything, including tires, which is interesting because again, we do have that tire pressure sensor fault there. We've got some coming to coming soon areas here. Um, Spark AI mechanic grade insights. Hmm, looks to be in a beta status right now. Maybe we'll try that someday. Also, um, knowing your car's records, past, present, and future. This, I would imagine, is similar to the Carfax uh, garage uh, feature that they have where you're able to track your Carfax reported service, but also add your own service records. And then of course, um, here's just the you know profile information. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into this here. Let's go ahead and perform a health check. And uh, so it's going through all of the major components, engine, fuel system, transmission, ignition, etc. cetera. Um, and let's see if it finds anything. No issues found, 144 inspections passed. And here's all the checks it performed. So that's very interesting. Now I imagine if I did have, you know, typically like the tire pressure sensors, you know, those aren't technically check engine codes. So I would imagine if, you know, someday the check engine light did come on, I'd probably then be able to, to, to see some more information and hear about, you know, hey, what, what is this check engine light about? Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and pop back over here to home. Let me swipe down to refresh. I would expect this uh, checked hours ago to have updated. Um, oh, the fuel did work, so that's pretty cool. 66%, which that's about accurate if you can look at my fuel gauge there. Um, it's about uh, you know two thirds full, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, now, one thing that I do know is not included into this is like any sort of GPS uh, features, which I, I thought that would be kind of cool. Although it isn't a, it's not a security device. It still would be kind of cool just to have a hey, where's your car or a map or something. Um, you know, maybe that's something they can uh, can can add later. But I'm not sure if that uh, if that device is GPS enabled or not. Um, let's go ahead and pop up here, maybe. Um, so it looks like that's just uh, your vehicle menu. So I suppose if you had you know multiple Spark devices, um, you could go ahead and uh, 
you know, add your cars to the same account. But other than that, that's pretty much everything it looks like. Um, you know, some coming soon things. I was expecting, um, I don't know, maybe a little more, but I mean, the, the vehicle status is cool. I guess it's good that there's no problems um, that it detected, but I guess it would be cool to be able to see if there is a problem, what does that look like in the app? Um, but we'll, you know, count our lucky stars that, you know, the vehicle's running good, no issues. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, one thing that's interesting is, you know, early on when this, uh, I'll go ahead and, and, and flip back over to me. One thing that's interesting is when this device was initially announced, you know, on those, um, you know, Indiegogo, Kickstarter and whatnot, you know, they, it was priced at right around, you know, 249 us dollars or something in there. Um, and even as they progressed, there was still a, you know, you'd buy the device and then there was a sort of subscription component with it. Um, but what's interesting is they've recently changed it to where, you know, the device is free and you just have to pay, you know, your, your shipping and handling or whatnot. So I did that um, and they shipped the device and that's how I was able to get it. But it just makes you wonder, you know, like nothing in the app mentioned subscription, no add your credit card. So when is that coming? Um, because, you know, it costs money to run this app, the servers that they use, etc. cetera. So um, that's just something to think about. You know, if you think you're getting a free device, um, there's likely, you know, probably something coming down the line where oh, it's okay if you want to maybe use those beta features or those features that have yet to come, that's when they'll go ahead and pull out the, uh, the, the, the subscription model or whatnot. But certainly, um, uh, a worthwhile device to to have I think if you know if you want to save that trip to the auto zone when that check engine light comes on you've already got something that I'll tell you okay this is related to you know your uh, oxygen sensors or you know whatever it may be um, so yeah maybe check it out um, I'll put a link in the description to uh, spark diagnostics um, if you're new here to the channel please be sure to like and subscribe um, but until the next one I hope everybody has a great day and this is Cameron with geek squared Bye for now.